I want to wake up every man in here. Don't let the devil make a fool out of you be, by being intimidated by the leadership and the qualities of wisdom and greatness that God has put in the woman. Once you get to be who you are as the man, the greatness that you see in the woman will not intimidate you in the least because you'll realize and know that out of God's mind came the blueprint for the male and the female man to be fruitful and to multiply and to replenish the earth and to subdue it. And you need to realize and know that once we get together to do this thing the way God said do it, you're going to find that the mess that's been going on around us will come to a halt and God will be able to bring to bear and to pass his destined purpose for each and every one of our lives. There are many, many books in the Bible that every child of God needs to be a partaker of at some time in their life. But I want you to know that there are certain books that will give you a greater in-depth knowledge of what it is that God is saying to you at a particular time. And so God will release a deeper understanding of that particular book more than you ever got out of it before. He'll fix it where all of a sudden your eyes will become x-ray vision. They'll become like Superman's eyes, able to see through doors and able to look through walls and able to look around the corner. So I'm going to tell you something. When you want to get an understanding of the preeminence of Christ and what it means that he is above all things and through all things and in all things and by him all things consist. You go to the book of Colossians and you'll get knowledge about the preeminence of Christ when you want to understand that God has called the church not a building but a body of baptized believers in the Lord Jesus Christ filled with the Holy Ghost and empowered to go forward so that we will have the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Our eyes of our understanding being enlightened you go to the book of Ephesians so that you will know the manifested power that God has placed in you as the church. So many people think that Jesus began when he was born of the Virgin Mary. But when you want to find a book in the Bible that will take you all the way back to the beginning, you go to the book of St. John where he tells us, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. When you want to go to a book in the Bible that will lay out in great detail the fact that God did not only pick women to walk with Jesus, but God picked a whole bunch of women that worked with him in the ministry. You go to Dr. Luke and it gives you great detail of how the women ministered unto Jesus working in the ministry. If you want a, a scripture in the Bible that will make you feel good when you're feeling bad and make you happy when you're sad and make you praise God when the trouble comes, you hit the book of the Psalms and you will say, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. When you want to know about why wisdom is so important and that you can't stop at wisdom, but you must go past wisdom and get an understanding, you'll go over to the book of Proverbs. Oh, I tell you, God got enough word in the book to teach us everything that we need to know. But on today, I'm going to take you to a book that we don't really talk about a lot because we grab little nuggets of the scripture out of the book and we use it for whenever we want to use it, but we never go and read the whole gist of the book to find out what it is that God is saying. So on today... I want to introduce you all to the book of James because in the book of James, the book of James tells you how to go through the developmental stages of coming into the family and going past that place of fear and trepidation and nervousness and thinking that you're not who you are and you can't be what God said he wants you to be. So God spoke to James and he told James.
James and I'm going to tell you, James was so available unto God that there was mighty things going on, terrible things that were going on at the time that the Holy Spirit revealed this word unto James because he wrote the book of James during the time of the great dispersion. The 12 tribes of Israel had been scattered abroad and the, uh, some were under Assyrian rule and some had been under Babylonian rule. And so and even though the book of James is a New Testament book, but I want you to know that even though there had been a great dispersion, but the people had not been brought back together like they needed to be. So when Jesus came on the scene, it was still in the midst of the Old Testament time and the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are not New Testament books, but they are books that bridge the Old Testament to the New Testament, which actually began not with the book of Acts, but it began after the book of Acts because the book of Acts is the one that tells us about the workings of Holy Spirit through his man that got man dispersed out there so that he could begin doing what thus saith the Lord going ye into all the world and preaching the gospel. Many people have the erroneous idea that when they get saved, they are put in a state of bondage. And most people are taught not what they can do, but what they can't do. So people have presented Christianity as a bondage religion that puts you inside of a box and keeps you from being able to enjoy life to its fullest extent. And I want you to know that that too is a lie of the devil because James started out the book and in the book of James he explains to us that there is great freedom in repentance and once you have learned the power and the purpose of the word of God how to work the word and how to to get down into the depths of what God wants you to know. You'll find out that that's when freedom begins to be released in your life. Also, you're going to find in the book of James, so many people are so in trouble in life now because they let their thoughts control them. And it's all right, your thoughts do control what you do, but you got to control your thoughts so that they won't control what you do by leading you in places where you don't belong. So in the book of James, James give us great detail about what to do with your thoughts so that you can take these thoughts that do control what you do, put them in the right place so that they control you, can control you and guide you into the proper place. Also in the book of James, he lets us know that as a result of learning how to work with our thoughts and control what it is that we allow ourselves to entertain in our minds, he lets us know know that there will be peace that is imparted unto you and so he lets us know how peace is really defined as a result of walking in the word of God in the book of James there is great detail that even though healing is a covenant right people don't yet understand and know how to administer healing so in the book of James we find great detail about how to operate in the rules of healing and get the church out of a state of sickness and disease and move on over into a place of divine and perfect health and it must be done completely in accordance with God's directive so Holy Spirit spoke unto James and told him it is your responsibility to tell them.